Hello, this is Nadia Vincent. I hope that you are fine and ready to kick off your summer by transforming your business. So I'm inviting you now to watch this webinar, fire up your business while implementing digital transformation and business automation. Fire up your business, embrace digital reinvention and smart automation. And this summer, it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for you to take your business to the next level. I know there are a lot of noise out there. Many people are transforming their businesses. But after two decades, transforming businesses worldwide, I can tell you there are a lot of mistakes that are being made today. So I am inviting you to watch this webinar and know what's the best way to automate your business to reinvent it for success. My name is Nadia Vincent. I am an MIT Sloan Certified Digital Transformation and Innovation Executive Advisor. I am also ranked as a top 10 digital transformation, innovation, digital disruption thought leaders. I'm also named as top 30 most inspiring women in artificial intelligence. I have an MBA specialized in business and IT management. And for more than two decades, I've been transforming organizations ranging from Fortune organization to smaller businesses on two continents, on two continents, Europe and North America. From the organization I've helped transform. And those I collaborate with, I partner with in transforming businesses. So you see uh, quite a few logo here, but as well, I'm an author. I'm the author of Leveraging Digital Transformation. And Leveraging Digital Transformation is a digital transformation leadership book where you find proven leadership and innovation strategy to engage and grow your organization. But no time to read my book. I'm going to navigate with you how this summer we can help transform your business. You can help tra start transforming your business. Well, it's not just about starting wherever you are. You can take your business to the next level. I am a consultant, an advisor, executive advisor. I'm an author, trainer, and speaker. So the agenda for today. First, doing business in the second machine age. Then we cover the necessity for business reinvention before automation, followed by business reinvention rules. Then I cover why automate, the ultimate secret to business success. Then adopt intelligent automation or face the consequences. Then I'll show you our program to reinvent and automate your business for sustainable success with us. And then if you stay at the end of this webinar, you get two gifts for you, two special gifts. But first, you already get plenty, you will get plenty of valuable insight from this webinar alone. Even if you don't go any further, just follow this webinar, you will get a lot of insight for transforming your business, for automating your business. The future is now, the second machine age. We are in the second machine age. That's mean in the second machine age, your business should be intelligent, intelligent business. That's what, that's what is needed to succeed in the second machine age. If your business is still a business from the first machine age, then that means there is a problem. Soon or later, you will encounter some problem. And that means that that might be the end of your business, which we call digital death. So you don't want that to happen. So let me guide you in explaining what the first machine age is. The first machine age, it's when we use computer to to, to achieve whatever we want in our business. So that means we use the computer as a tool. It's the human brain that is using the computer. So the computer is not intelligent. The computer is completely dumb. You need to, for example, you're using Excel or you're using Word. It's your brain doing the work. And although you can get some calculation with Excel, but the machine, the Excel is not thinking for you. Excel doesn't anticipate what you are going to do. It cannot suggest anything. So that's the first machine age. And it started with 
uh, even with your calculator. So the first machine age, you as the human, the operator is the brain behind everything that's due and we need to do it. Then we are in the second machine age. In the second machine age, which is today, the thing is that the computer become intelligent. It mean by that the machine can think for you. Well, we say the machine can think for you. The machine cannot think. It's the thing is that some of the property of the machine, there are some intelligence that are developed that with data, with information, the machine becomes smart. The machine can make decisions for you or help you in taking decisions. We are at the in the intelligent machine age. So that's the second machine age. That's where we are today. And if you are running your business uh, with just the tool of the first machine age, that's when you are behind. Any business that is running their business with tools from the second machine age, they will outrun you. Artificial intelligence will outrun human. So artificial intelligence is different than human intelligence. Okay. But for some part, some type of intelligence, the machine is more intelligent than the human, or the machine has more capability than the human brain, especially when it comes to calculation, to storage. So I'll show you how you can take advantage of the second machine age and disrupt, reinvent your business. So there is no magic in a, in a machine that thinks for you, that decides for you, that knows things that you don't know. It's all about IT system, okay? Technology system. What you need for your business is a good intelligent system. So in that system, it's not just the technologies. If you only have the technology, then you're at risk. So you need great business strategies. You need processes, the technology and data. And with all that, that creates a system, an intelligent system that will make your business intelligent. And that's what I'm going to help you to create, to build. And there is a big issue. Many businesses, they think it's just technology and this is implementing technology blindly. And we don't want that for your business. We are not just, digital transformation is not just about technology, it's more than that. So the, the, the thing is, what do you want? You need to ask intelligently what you want in the digital age, what you want for your business while everything is changing. The thing is that we need to ask this question intelligently. What do you want? You want more return? Uh, depending on your business, you want more your return, more return on your investment. The return could be measured into um, into into currency in currency. But it's not just about currency. There are different businesses. It could be saving more lives. It could be being helping people being more healthy. Whatever what you want. Generally, it's not only one thing we want. There are a lot of uh, things that make a whole. What you want, what you give. So that's why I say ask intelligently. And But sometimes people do not know what they want or what to ask simply because there is a misunderstanding of the digital age, the digital intelligence, and digital transformation. So... I am there to help you navigate, to ask clearly what you want, and then to use the tool to go after it, to get what you want. So lots of questions to answer. Ask intentionally. You need to know what you want for your business, where you want to take your business uh, in the digital age, because we are talking about the change of an era. So what do you want? We ask intentionally, that we call a vision. So it's your business vision. So the problem, uh, sometimes is not knowing what we want specifically. And sometimes we'll copy, many businesses copy on what they see their competitors doing and they start doing it. So this is not the right way to transform your business for the digital age. So you need to be specific. You need to have a business vision. So one of the first thing before transforming your business is to develop a business vision that is really um, for your business, not just for what we see happening. So it's what we see that are happening are inspiration, but you need to be specific and intentional about what you want for your business. So I'll guide you to develop your own digital business vision. And that will 
prevent and solve a lot of problems. So the next thing, we talk about automation, but many businesses, they start automating what they have, the business that they had in the first machine age. This is one big problem that caused a lot of failure. And even though you can automate your business with the best tool, the smartest tool is the business model. If the business was a business of the first machine age, then your business cannot grow properly. Your business cannot really leverage the digital intelligence. And what will happen, you might see that your business is going well temporarily, but it's not sustainable. That means any innovation or any, your, your competitor can outrun your business and even put you out of business if you do not reinvent your business before automating it. So before automating, before I guide you in automating your business, first I ask you about the vision, what you want, and we define your business vision. And then once we have your business vision, then you, you are going to reinvent that more in detail. So. We need you to reinvent your business for the digital age. And then only after that, you can start automating because the business that are um, transforming, the, the business that are automating before reinvention, they have a high risk of disruption because they have low growth potential. They, they often, they let go of the employees to replace uh, to replace them uh, with machine and they are just automating the old business. So it increases imperfection. There are many more breaking points. It's less sustainable. And then those businesses are more likely to experience digital death. So uh, therefore the solution is to reinvent the business before we automate it. So here are seven rules to smartly Auto, to smartly reinvent your business before automation. So first, you need to reset your mindset. As a leader, as a business owner, your mindset is the first value, the first asset that your business get. It's you. Okay? You and other business leaders, your team, that's, that, that's it. So that means whatever the situation is for you, wherever you are today, it's not the situation that you need to see. Is the situation, the vision, where you need to be tomorrow. Your mindset should be able to create the, the future. And from that vision, that's where you are going to create the future. So let's go off yesterday mindset. The first machine age mindset, mindset doesn't work. Then the second rule is to focus on your business vision and goals. So do not rush into technology uh, to transform your business, even whatever the trends are. You start with your business vision and clear business goal because from there we are going to use the most appropriate technology and the most appropriate strategy to allow you to reach your goal. The third thing is no more roadmap. We are in the digital age. It's not just about word anymore. Everything is just about a network and connection point. So from, for example, we have this image. So let's say we could go from point A to point B. If we are driving, we have to take the exit, turn here, turn there. That's not the same thing with the network. The network, you just, regardless, wherever you are on the other side of the planet, just a connection point, it's connectivity. So it's direct, there is, there is no delay. So that's part of the barriers being broken in the digital age. And once you really understand the digital age, you will understand that if you doing your business, you are leading your business the same way you used to lead it in the first machine age, then that's when you are losing, you're wasting a lot of resource because this is not necessary today in the digital age. The rule four, it's about reinventing your business model. The old business model of the first machine age, today they are obsolete. So the business models are completely different and they are not one business model for the digital age. There are many business models and of, often it's a combination of them. So you need to reinvent your business model for the second machine age. And rule five, it's the octopus business model and revenue. Let's forget about like one source of revenue, whatever they would say in the old machine age that you need to focus on one specialty and this and that. Today, 
you need a minimum of five source of of eight source of revenue in your business and even more so uh, the, the 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 success the secret to it is how you go about creating those uh, sources of revenue in your business model and all that thing I will teach in my course and then you can see more in detail. Then the next thing will six is to reinvent your business processes. You know the processes are the way we do things, the way we achieve things and their workflows. So with what we have today we cannot work with the same uh, processes from yesterday. So most processes are obsolete Either they need to be discarded completely or they need to be re-engineered. So every business, before you go and automate your processes, so you need to reinvent these processes, question each of them. Else, if you automate them, you're just wasting resources and soon something will happen is that they take you out of business. You're wasting your resources anyway. You're wasting your time. You're just replacing human by machine. We don't want that. So you reinvent your business processes before automating them. And then next, invest in the digital intelligence, okay? You cannot be um, efficient. You cannot be profitable without investing in the digital intelligence. And the digital intelligence is made of two main components, human and machine. So human and technology. So you, we need to have both and we need to have them in the right proportion. So those are the seven rules for reinventing your business. But uh, there are more to that. So in order to reinvent your business successfully, what you need is a full 360 degree digital strategy. And in the digital strategy, there is much more than that. There's innovation, et cetera. But you need that and a sustainable business framework because uh, there are many uh, people transforming their businesses today with some uh, framework that are not sustainable. They were like for maybe 10 years ago, you can uh, change the technology, change the strategy, but what will happen as we evolve? So we need to be futuristic. We need to anticipate a lot of things, especially the way technology is going today. So that means they need a great insight into technology, into innovation, in order to have a sustainable framework. And that's what I offer with a 360 degree digital transformation where sustainability is part of it. Next, adopt intelligent automation or face the consequences. There are a lot of consequences in automating. So when you automate your business, you could accelerate uh, its growth, but as well, you could accelerate its, its death. So there are consequences and there are some you can rectify quickly as you innovate, you can adjust, but there are some, unfortunately, by the time you realize it, it might be too late. So we don't want that for you. So we want you to understand something very important, which is how to intelligently automate your business. So the real secret to business automation success is that you need to take into account just two points, okay? They are processes or two steps. The first one is efficiency. You're going to automate to create efficiency, okay? And then the next thing is growth. The issue, the problem we have often is that people automate for efficiency and then they stay there. And that's a trap. After efficiency, it's like you are freeing your resources from, from some repetitive tasks. You are delegating some tasks to machine, but then you should not let go just of your people and of your all the knowledge in your company. Now you need to go for growth. And I use these sneakers as an example to show you that efficiency and growth, they go in pair. And if you use efficiency only without growth, then your business is at risk. And you cannot grow really, you cannot go directly to grow without creating efficiency first because you will waste too, much, too many of your resources. So to intelligently automate, you need efficiency, then you need growth. So. Another way to explain it is that you need to go from $100, 100 to 
Another way to explain it is that you need to go from 100 to 1 million, not from 100 to 200. If you are trying to grow your business or you go for automation, you go for 100K to 200K, that's when you do not really understand the digital uh, intelligence, the digital opportunity. It is good you grow, but the thing is that you are still very much at risk. You need to understand the possibilities that we have in the digital age today and digital intelligence. And um, when you go from 100 to 1 million, there is big leverage. When you go from 100 to 200, then that's, I mean, you are just taking a little, a little bite at what's possible in the digital uh, age. So, and generally, if you go from 100 to 200, generally what you do is cost reduction. And cost reduction is not sustainable in the digital age. Cost reduction is the first step efficiency. So first we automate to reduce your operating cost. Okay. And then after that, you reinvest that profit, what you save, you invest in business innovation and strategy. After that, then you innovate, you put them in practice, innovate and implement. Because first, when you're uh, looking at in innovation and strategy, you do not implement everything that you strategize. Otherwise, everybody will run out of business. Then after you innovate, you implement, then you go for growth and you disrupt. If you want to really change how business is done in your sector, you go, you disrupt. So go from 100 to 1 million and not to, from 100 to 200, meaning let go of cost reduction. Cost reduction is only the first step efficiency. So go for long-term efficiency and look at your efficiency. You want to look at your quality level, but not everybody's expecting the same quality to everyone. That's something else we discussed in the business strategy. So uh, if you do not provide top quality, doesn't mean, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, your business is not sustainable. So there is for everybody. It all depends on what you want to offer to your customer. Then there is speed and cost. You, you want to minimize your cost, increase your speed, quality, and efficiency. And so, therefore, we are going to go for long-term efficiency and sustainability. So, I'm saying don't just replace human with machine. You need to make sure that your company doesn't uh, let go of uh, its intellectual capacity to technology because your biggest asset they are your people the thing is that you need to invest in your people because um even though you may not keep all your people you need to invest in them because every one of us we use less than 10 percent of our brain capacity what we are going to do is that you're going to strive for a harmonious blend of digital intelligence that is people and machine and machine and then the next thing you do you elevate the, your brain, you educate yourself uh, and that of your people, you, you educate your people much more and you foster creativity, creativity and innovation and agility. Agility is not a buzzword. It's your ability to quickly change, to quickly implement new things as, as we get new possibility, as the digital intelligence becomes smarter, more powerful. And um, what makes the difference, your biggest comp uh, asset, your competitivity, is your ability to quickly change, to quickly transform with uh, the changes that are happening, but as well your capacity to innovate. So that's when you need your people. You need the, the, the brain and the data in your organization. Don't just let go of your people. So you should lead with your strategy, not your technology. So leadership is top. Leadership is what you need first. And you need strategy. Your leaders, you create um, innovative strategy, breakthrough strategy for everything in your organization. Okay. And then once we are sure of what we want, how we are going to do it, et cetera, then you get the technology to do it. So that's part of it. Do not just uh, do like many organizations who then experience difficulty saying that, okay, we see, let's say, we see artificial intelligence, all what it can do for you, but you do not define what you want to gain from it first and develop your strategy before adopting it. So you should not do just like uh, your competitor. You need to develop your own strategy and your technology strategy before adopting technology. So next thing is to choose technology with a sustainable future growth plan. The thing is that we are innovation in innovation now. There are a lot of people, a lot of 
companies putting out a lot of innovation tools. But if you are an IT person just like me, what you will do, you will try to challenge those tools. And when you challenge them, you will quickly see the limitations. But unfortunately, people who are not in, not in technology, sometimes, sometimes they do not go and challenge the, the technology or they do not know about them. It's only later when they are implementing it or um, they are seeing it. So there are many challenges in the technology, but as well in the future of the organization launching in. What's their growth plan? We need to know the growth plan, the investment. You, you need technology that's going to grow with your business so that you are not changing technology all the time because technology is changing faster than your strategy. Remember that technology is changing faster than your strategy. That's also one of the reasons why you should not lead your company with the technology. You lead from your strategy, but you need to um, choose technology that has a future, technology that is growing with your business, technology that will allow you to accomplish your vision in X year, not technology that just appear and disappear after they made some cash. So I'll help you in choosing them. So you need to adopt star, smart digital automation. Do not just automate blindly because everybody is automating because there are consequences in automation. It can accelerate your business growth, profit, just like you can accelerate your business digital there. So I'm inviting you to join our training. We are launching this training live this summer. It's called Business Reinvention and Digital Automation Accelerator. It's a training to help unleash your business success with world-class innovation strategy and digital technologies. So I'm inviting you to join us to reinvent and automate your business for sustainable success. So first, let me show you uh, what we have for you in that training. So in order to see it, I'd like you to go to our website, digitaltransformationleaders.com, and then you go to learning from the menu, and then you choose Brada. That's the name of the training, Brada. Let's do that together. Uh, when you go to Digital Transformation Leaders, you arrive on this main page, okay? This is Digital Transformation Leaders page. Okay, then you go here on learning from the menu bar and you see Brada. You go and click on Brada. Brada is Business Reinvention and Digital Automation Accelerator. This is the course we are launching it this summer. This is a course that exists. We have exists already. We've been training many organizations about it. We are, we've been training many organizations with it, but this package, I do it uh, special. It's a special lunch. It's a special lunch this summer happening on July 11th. Let's see what's in the program. Here is the program outline. First, the module one is to ignite your business. So we are going to work on your business vision. Okay, your business vision to create uh, your own personal, your own customizable business vision. Then we'll work on your business model for the digital age. We'll create the different business model for you. Then on module three, we'll review your strategic planning for thriving business businesses. So we are going to create a full strategic plan for you in order to dominate. So that's mean your business digital strategy and planning will happen here. Then for streamline and optimize your business processes across the organization, across the entire business. So every business has a lot of process for every business unit. So we are going to review, show you how to review the business processes for every business unit to reinvent the business unit and the business process to optimize them before automating. This is very important, as I explained earlier, to uh, reinvent those business processes before automating in them and not automate them directly. Then we'll go to unleash business innovation and digital automation strategy. So that will be your strategy for automating. Then 
embrace the digital intelligence, human and machine synergy to allow you to include both human and machine and what's the right proportion, uh, what you need to delegate to human, what to machine and how to combine both of them. Module seven, digitally enable your cohort, your organization to thrive in the new era. We help transform your business, not just for, for everybody working in your business, how to help them achieve self-transformation and to innovate, to adopt the digital intelligence, because sometimes it's, it could be just one person that do not adopt the changes that you make, the transformation, and then that will cause more challenges to the business going forward. Module eight, mastering business automation and your technology strategy for automating. So we cover different uh, technology. It will be, it, we will see artificial intelligence, we'll see RPA and whatever, and several other tools depending on your business sector, the different digital technology to achieve that business automation. Module nine, elevate the employee and customer experience, how to deliver great customer experience. Module 10, maximizing your return on investment, your ROI. You are going to measure where you are today, where you will be uh, later, depending on the timeline that you fix, but you, go, you are going to have a timeline where you can measure your progress, measure your growth. And in your conclusion, time to drive. So I invite you to check out the program outline more in details here and just the, the, the whole course because there is a lot here. There is a lot for you to see here. You do not just get the live training. We, I don't want to give you training for transformation and then to let you go and to finish because transformation is a journey. You do not just transform and then you finish. And as well, when you are going to transformation, it's going to take time. And sometimes you'll have a lot of questions, lots of decisions to make. So I want to give you more than just the, the course. So because of that, I create digital co-creators, which is a group. It's a community where you will get so much more and I'm offering you a one-year membership, a one-year membership as a gift for this summer when you get uh, uh, to our training. So participating give you the digital co-creators group. And in the digital co-creators group, you will have a digital business success vault. That's where you get a lot of tools uh, and um, a lot of resources that will help you and help your business as you transform, implement digital transformation. You'll get a lot of valuable resources that you can use. You will also be able to join the Innovation Mastermind Group. And this is very important, especially for different sectors, because uh, especially that digital transformation is not pertinent to one sector, it's to different sectors. And with innovation, we are reshaping every sector. And everybody should continuously innovate, continuously uh, change the status quo, not just in their business, but even the sector. So in the innovation mastermind group, you'll get, uh, we'll get a um, regular group meeting where we will help you with adopting innovation will help you with Q&A about your own transformation and as well we'll be discussing the trends, the different tools. For example, Chat GPT came out this year, from earlier this year. And there are lots of noise about how to use it. There are people who, who can training about it. Anyway, for example, one example for one tool like that is to show you how to, you can use it, how you can optimize it, capitalize on it, but as well, many other trends, many other tools, because there are many, many more than you could imagine and dif different for different sectors. And even one tool, there are so many different ways that you could use it in different, in different sectors. So, uh, We'll give you an access, we'll provide you an access to the Innovation Mastermind Group where we have regular calls where you can learn about more innovation and how to innovate properly in your business. And at the end of the course, you also get a certificate of achievement 
for innovating, for knowing how to transform, reinvent your business and automation. And you get to give. The first gift that you get, everybody this summer, they get a special deal because normally this is a course that we offer for a price of $19.95. But $1,009, this is a course, this is a course that we offered for almost $2,000. But this summer, I decided to help many businesses to embrace transformation. There are many businesses who cannot really afford digital transformation experts like myself, like others, like I'm one of the top 10 thought leaders uh, in digital transformation. And with two decades implementing digital transformation, I can tell you there are a lot to learn still. And Unfortunately, I see the mistake people are making today. They were mistakes we were making 15 years ago uh, with large fortune organization. And here with this uh, training and the coaching, I will be able to guide you. So, and I offer to cut the price for a portion of what it is. Instead of 2000 almost $2,000, we are offering the course for 495 okay, close to $500. This is only for this summer program. Okay, and after the summer, it will go back to the normal world. But if you be if you are joining us live, it's happening on July 11. So this is the first gift. The second gift that you get is that you get 50 per 15 percent off with this coupon code summer CW 2250. And that is for people watching this webinar, who've been to this webinar, uh, who get this code because otherwise you will not find it anywhere else. It's summer CW 2250. Then you get 15% off the 495. Or also you get a payment plan. If you cannot pay the 495 at once, you get the possibility to pay it in two payments. You see, I'm trying to make it accessible to everybody. And even we on these two payments, you get 15% off with this coupon, this coupon, okay. These are my two gifts for you this summer. And I'm really looking forward to have you to discuss, not just for this summer, but I offer a one-year membership. So that is one year we get to innovate together. We get to work together. So I hope to see you there. Go to digitaltransformationleaders.com and you get uh, access to the course, brother. But as well, I'm very active on social media, on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, where I share a lot of professional business insight. Don't hesitate to, to connect. My name is m.nadia Vincent on those uh, sites. Let's connect on LinkedIn, especially where I'm most active, Twitter and Facebook. And hope to see you there. And let's reinvent your business and automate it so that you can go and succeed and take advantage of the new digital economy. Thank you.